there's a dirty little secret in the AI space that prompt sellers don't want you to know. You can generate better prompts for practically anything and any modality than whatever they're selling. And again, for any model and any use case using this one simple hack, combining it with Claude code. And I'm talking about creating prompts for things like Nano Banana, for Veo3, for normal text generation models like GPT-5 or Claude for Opus. And even building voice agent prompts for things like Eleven Labs, as well as Vapi and the real-time API from OpenAI. At the crux of all of these different modalities is the same common denominator, which is prompt engineering. It's just a different flavor and dialect depending on which modality you choose. So while everyone else you see on your LinkedIn feed is commenting banana to get the exclusive prompt pack that's not tailored to them, their business, or their use case, you can generate an unlimited amount of prompts if you know the right way to implement them. No coding and no technical expertise. Just following the few simple steps combining with the prompt I'm going to give you by the end of this video will give you everything you need. So if you're tired of generic prompts and you want to take control into your own hands, then let's dive in. If you watched my last video, then this setup will look very familiar, where I walk through exactly how to crank out all kinds of GPTs and cloud projects with the snap of a finger. In this case, we have this folder and within this folder, we have prompts for custom agents, for image generation using things like Nano Banana, we have text generation and even video and voice. So just to show you an example, for image generation, if you go down this folder and you go to marketing collateral, this is optimized for LinkedIn posts. So this is a series of prompts optimized for the business that I provided the prompt I'm about to show you that walks through exactly you can see here, prompt number one, deal announcement tombstone. Create a professional M&A deal announcement graphic for LinkedIn. And then here are the visual specs optimized for Nano Banana, the text hierarchy, the design elements, the composition, as well as a series of other prompts. And the craziest part is, I didn't even ask it to build these specific images. I just gave a use case of my business, my hypothetical business, and it walked through what prompts would make the most sense and auto-generated them for me. So if you're in one of those circumstances where either you're consulting for a client or you are the business owner yourself, where you're just trying to ruminate and brainstorm on how best you can use AI, this is a fantastic way to go from zero to 60% and really see what use cases are possible. And you can see if you go into something like voice agents and we go to after hour support, emergency triage, this is creating a voice agent for VAPI that is optimized and even tells you exactly what model you can use. It's defaulting to open source, the prompt for that specific voice agent, all without you having to become a voice agent prompt engineer extraordinaire. So now that I've teased you, let me teach you. So if we go into something like a Claude or like a ChatGPT, and what you can do is you can literally go on research and I'll go and say something like, hey, can you go train yourself or go do research on the latest and greatest ways to do prompt engineering on things like the Nano Banana brand new Gemini model, as well as how to write prompts for something like Veo3 from Gemini, and just do a ton of research on exactly all the prompting techniques you can come up with. You could write a prompt just like this and obviously add whatever detail you want, go and have it do research. And once it comes back with that research, I'm not gonna do it now because it'll take around 20, 30 minutes. In the next message, you could say, great, now act as a prompt engineer and go through this research and create a mega guide as if you're teaching another AI how to master the skill of prompt engineering XYZ modalities and come up with a full markdown file. Once you have that markdown file, it'll look something like this, where if you open it up and I just give you a little teaser here, it is the ultimate prompt engineering guide for September 2025. And this is the table of contents. So in this case, mine I spent a while on and it has a part one, part two, part three, part four. Each one is going through things like custom application prompts, advanced text generation, image generation mastery, video, and you get the idea. And again, I promised you that this would not be technical. So if you're non-technical, you can implement this if you install either Claude code or cursor or both. In this case, I'm showing you Claude code because it's my preferred editor of choice. So if you see here, my command was very straightforward. So I did something called slash in it. And what this does is it does an initialization of the session. And all that means in plain English is whatever files I have there. So I drag and drop this guide that I just showed you. It familiarizes itself and the context window with everything in that file. And as a result of doing in it, you get something like this where the ClaudeMD file is generated. And the ClaudeMD file is like the command center for Claude in this particular avenue. So we have all the parts it's synthesized, all the key topics, and it knows when to refer to this mega guide I put here. This will take anywhere from three to five minutes. And once it's done, all I do is I enter my mega prompt and it tells you right here, created the .md file. And I enter this very long system prompt 
that I'll go through with you right now. And you can see how detailed it is, telling it exactly what to do, what the business is about, and it gives it everything it needs to go off for the next 20, 30 minutes and finish the entire set of tasks. Now, one thing I do is I like to go into what's called plan mode. And how you do that in Claude Code is if you just do shift tab a few times until you get to plan mode, I'll basically give the prompt I'm about to show you and then allow it to plan and strategize exactly what files and prompts is gonna put together. Because I'm not telling it builds a prompt for everything, build a prompt for what makes the most sense given my context I'm giving you. So when you see the plan and it plays it back to you, it gives you a good idea of exactly what it's gonna do. So it's not gonna be a surprise. And if you're on the lower plan of Claude code, then if you're on $20, you won't run out of tokens by accident by executing the wrong thing. So in this case, the planning mode comes back with an executive summary saying, I will create a comprehensive AI prompt suite specifically tailored for your corporate law and M&A practice. Again, that was my hypothetical scenario. So it comes up with all the files it's going to create as well as the priority, the justification for why, the quick wins, the core systems, the advanced features. And now I can look at this and give it my stamp of approval that I feel good for it to go off for 20, 30 minutes and come back with exactly what I'm looking for. Now, what is this prompt I keep yapping about? Here it is, and I won't go through the whole thing because I will make this available to you in the second link in the description below. It is a pretty savage and detailed prompt, but pretty much what it says is, you are an AI expert prompt engineer with comprehensive knowledge of all major AI platforms as of September 2025, you have access to the ultimate prompt engineering mastery guide covering GPT-5, Claude 4, Nano Banana, etc. And then when I tell it here, when given a business context, you will generate a complete suite of production ready AI prompts tailored specifically to that business's needs, organized in a clear folder structure with implementation documentation. So this is where I tell it to create the execution plan. This is where it creates the phases and it tells you exactly the kind of structure that it should emulate. You can literally take my prompt, throw it into AI and say, you know what? I hate the way that Mark organized the folders, change it to this way or that way. And it will change this prompt to match whatever you're looking for. Cause you might not care about voice agents or you might not care about video generation. In my case, I tried to give you a vanilla landscape or a vanilla foundation. So you could start off and do everything you wanted in one shot. Take advantage of actual reasoning. Here I say for each text generation use case relevant to the business, select the optimal platform, write complete production ready prompt with all the context, include configuration parameters like temperature, max tokens, etc. So especially if you're implementing this via an API, it will give you a lot of these starter parameters you could use. Now, are they gonna necessarily be perfect? No but this will take you again from zero to 60%. So you can take it the rest of the way. And then we have the same thing here for image generation. In my case, I've kind of over indexed on Nano Banana and the GPT-4 O model, but you can make this whatever you want. Same thing for video generation. I made it so that it's focusing on VAO3 from Google and Sora from OpenAI. And then for voice agents, I included specifically VAPI, Retail, OpenAI Real Time, and 11 Labs. If you're not familiar with the voice industry, then don't worry about this. And then you have configurations for custom agents. So if you wanted to still implement what I showed you in the last video on custom GPTs, then you could just implement that here as well. And when it comes to the prompt files itself, I say that for each generated prompt, create a markdown file containing the business problem being solved, the platform and model recommendation, complete prompt with clearly marked examples or variables rather, configuration settings, example usage. And it's kind of like having a consultant prompt engineer of your own justifying why it did the thing instead of just generating some cookie cutter prompts. Now, where's the part where you can tailor this to your own business or your use case or your client? So if you go to here, business context instructions, it just says, take the business context provided below and use it to generate a completely customized AI prompt suite. And then I give it a hypothetical example right here. So mine is a law firm in the industry of corporate law and M&A, team size, primary services. Again, you could just dictate using your voice and have it basically fill it out for you, put it into the prompt and you'd be good to go. And once you paste that in and you send it over and you're happy with the plan and it all works out, then you get something like this where it says it's completed deliverables, nine major components created. One, we have a readme file that walks you through exactly what it did and why it did it. The contract review system in this case, due diligence analyzer, 24 seven voice agent prompt that you can copy paste into VAPI in five minutes and not have a perfect voice agent, but have a voice agent. And it even goes through things like the ROI of potentially investing the time to use these prompts. Obviously take that with a grain of salt, walks through its justifications. And then you can always ask and say, you know what? 
can you create one for presentation assets under the image generation folder? And you can keep adding as many prompts as you want, editing the ones you already have. So hopefully the goal of this is to just break a lot of limiting beliefs that you can create prompts, assets, custom GPTs, whatever you want from these mega useful AI editors. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this is a good add on to the last video and you can use this to crank out whatever prompt you want and ideally iterate until you're happy with it. So I'll make the prompt I showed you available to you again in the second link in the description below. But if you want access to exclusive goodies like this ultimate prompt engineering mastery guide that I showed you, then that'll be in my school community exclusively to my members that you can find in the first link in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.